All right, here's the goss, the deets, the extras. All right, so I didn't talk about this in my last video for the reason of I wanted to have breakfast and I forgot. But I'm back now to talk about some of the actual details we know about this goddamn game. Okay, so we know a few things, mostly because of the uh, Steam. That's it. That's so the game's up on Steam for pre-order. I don't know if it's actually it's coming soon. Add to wish list type of thing. So it's given us the ability to have a look at different details, as it has a bit of different listings. You see. So, we actually get a look at some of the artwork, and then all the pictures here are just pictures from the trailer. And they're not great pictures either, they're not great timings for the pictures. Anyway, so the little blurb they have is, Wish granting mermaids tears in the hands of Spongebob and Patrick? What could go wrong? Question mark. Sure, the very fabric holding the universe together could come undone, opening portals into wild wish worlds. But that's nothing our favourite sponge can't handle, with the right cosmic costume. So that's kind of, I think that's the, the main, that's going to be the main gimmick of this game. Which we all, they get into a bit more with the other details. So, it's going to be in all the languages, single player, Steam Achievements, full controller, sport. Something I did notice is, so far, the only genre that's listed is action. Whereas, SpongeBob Rehydrate had action, adventure, all that type of stuff. Weird, I don't know, probably just haven't had yet, but something I noticed. So then we have the same text as the other one, but reworded a little bit. Wish granting mermaid's tears in the hands of SpongeBob and Patrick? What could possibly go wrong? Now, will it be Mindy? Probably not. Anyway, it's not going to be Mindy. <laughs> They're not going to get Scarlett Johansson back for that. Sure, the very fabric holding the very universe very together could come very undone, opening up portals into wish worlds full of knights, cowboys, pirates, and prehistoric snails. <gasps> we gonna see, we gonna see Gordon. The Viking. Let me guess. And your name is... That's right. Gordon. Pirates and prehistoric snails. But that's nothing. Everyone's favourite sponge can't... That's nothing. Everyone's favourite sponge with the right cosmic costume. Everybody do the cosmic shake. Yeah. Is that TikTok dance? I don't know. Moving on. Okay, so. Wish worlds full of cowboys. Pest of the West. We're getting into that newer season stuff. We're out of season one, two, and three. Is what I'm talking. Check out my other video if you don't understand what I'm talking about. So, well, firstly, knights, bloody, it better be dunces and dragons. I'm just, just saying. And cowboys, pest of the west, pirates, that could go in a few different directions, but yeah. And prehistoric snails. I wonder what that could be linked to. So these are the key features. So these are the key kind of things that are going to be going on. So unlock classic and new platforming skills, so platforming, like the fish hook swing, fish hooks, and karate kick. Couldn't, I'm not sure if we could kick before. I don't know. Wait, does karate kick mean it's sandy? Because doesn't sandy kick? I don't know. Don more than 30 fantastic costumes like snail bob and sponge gar. So that's the kind of main thing. So my mind immediately goes to Dutchman's Revenge or whatever it's called. The disaster of a game. Like, yeah, there are more people who are very forgiving of it now, but it's not a fun game. But that, those, are, those are very limited costumes. There's like, what, like five, something like that, five or six. And they're very limited. This is feeling a little bit more spun, like um, Mario Odyssey type of direction. Heaps of different costumes with, like, if you're looking at Snail snail Bob, that's not just a costume change, that's a movement change, that's a body size change, they'd be a hitbox change, like, these are changes. Sponge Guy is more just like the model change, but Snail Bob, like, if they're equivalent to Snail Bob, those are major changes. Does it, a cha does it like, change movement speed, does it change tax? Like, that's the really interesting thing, and 30 of them. That's where you're kind of in this direction of like, well, is it more like Mario Odyssey type of thing? I don't mean Mario Odyssey is like the costumes you wear in Mario Odyssey. I mean like the ability to switch to different things, like with Cappy. More of that type of direction. It's like, is it that much of a change or is it more in line of you get one extra ability, which is throwing a bubble that goes a foot? Travel to seven distinct wish worlds like Wild West, Jellyfish Fields, and uh, Hall Halloween Rock Bottom. Yeah. So, smaller 
than balcony bottom. But then again, new areas. And I feel like you could also have, you can make them be bigger. I would personally much prefer to move into that Mario Odyssey type of thing where you don't just finish uh, like a level. You have more free reign and there's a lot more spatulas around. That was one issue with Mario Odyssey was the fact that Mario, yeah, Mario Odyssey is sometimes getting the moons didn't really feel that special because there's just so many of them around. But that could be kind of fun. It's just like, there's, there's, there is a, on the top of that mountain, there is a bloody collectible and I have no idea how to get it, but I'm going to keep going until I get it. That type of thing. More than here are your set five different spatulas you can collect in this world, go. Type of thing. Maybe a, that could be a bit more fun. Having a wider world could make up for the fact that we have less. Experience all the buddy movie banter with SpongeBob's permanent companion, Balloon Patrick. So this is this set a few people off the fact that most likely Patrick's not going to be playable. Most likely his first wish is going to be to become a balloon and he's just going to follow SpongeBob around the rest of the game. I don't really mind. Uh, Patrick's levels weren't that fun. In Rehydrated, they, they were more fun because they ruined Sandy, so they were more fun. But, I mean, this isn't that new bottom. It's something new, so I'm pretty fine with this. Uh, or buddy movie banter that concerns me because it's leaning towards the third movie, which is a bad movie. <laughs> Meet all your favorite Bikini Bottomites from the series, voiced by their original actors. Clancy Brown. My boy, Clancy Brown. The man. The myth. The legend. Enjoy the in-game soundtrack featuring 101 songs from the series, including Sweet Victory. There's another thing that people kind of had issue with. Is it just going to be the 101 songs from the show playing? I don't believe it. I don't think that's the case. I think it's going to be, yet again, a Mario Odyssey thing where you unlock songs and you can play them on like a little radio thing whenever you want through the game. There, there is no way in my mind that they are going to get away with just having SpongeBob music. Like you have to create something. You have to. It's a game soundtrack. It's vitally important to all that type of stuff. It can be done all right. Like in, um, people immediately jump to bloody, uh, the Activision games, be like how awful that is. Truth of Square did it quite well because they were really high quality and they really worked hard on matching them as best they could. Sometimes it does work, but they worked hard to match them as they could. It's not as good, but it's also not as bad as people think it can be. It's been done right and it's been done well. It's not as good as its own soundtrack, but it, it has been done. So there, I think um, I think it did have tracks from the other SpongeBob games as well, but it didn't have anything new, I don't believe. So it made due, and I believe they can make due of 101 songs. If that is the case, I don't want it to be the case, but that is the case. All right, so here's the story. SpongeBob and Patrick meet the mysterious fortune teller, Cassandra. This is giving me vibes of... Um, that mini series they did in like season seven or something, The Curse of Hex, I know, who gives them a vial of mermaid tears. Copyright. <laughs> Legend claims they grant the wishes of those who are pure of heart. Naturally, the two best buddies get overexcited and their flurry of wishes, wishes tears op tears open the very fabric of space and time. Man, I can't read today. All while releasing cosmic jelly. Mm, copyright. On to Bikini Bottom and opening portals to strange worlds in the process. Now it's up to our heroes to rescue their friends who got lost in the wish worlds and bring back Bikini Bottom's most iconic buildings. But Cassandra has her own devious plans. Is this going to be like Psychonauts? Where like each character is in this little world and they kind of like make it their own. And you're like going through a specific level because it's a sandy themed level. There's lots of karate stuff. Don't know. Probably not. But... It's pretty dope. I do like the sound of that. I do like the sound of that. Uh, and the rest is just random system requirements that are mostly to be decided. <laughs> You're gonna need at least eight gigabytes of RAM, all right? You hear me? Anyway, there you go. That was just my super quick thoughts on some of this type of stuff. I'm sure there's more information out there, but I just wanted to ch touch on this stuff because this was kind of the main stuff. And I probably should have covered it in the other video, but I wanted to have breakfast. So, yes. Anyway. There you go. Let me know uh, your thoughts so far on the game, the trailer, everything we've seen, this type of information. Let me know in the comments below, or um, I made a community post about it. I want to make a video documenting basically most people's thoughts. So let me know yours, your opinions, 
concerns, anything like that, be they positive, negative, whatever, let me know. Anyway, bye-bye.